Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently a picture of President Air Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary was quite under discussion which you can see on the screen. The main reason for the discussion was a scaled model of MCA in the background. Though the model is not very clear but if you zoom into it and look below the nose section you can see there is some kind of sensor which is expected to be EOTS or electro optical targeting system. You can find similar system at the same place in F-35 fighter jets as well. But before we discuss further, let's try to understand the role of EOTS system. The EOTS is similar in concept to a large high resolution infrared and television camera which is used to visually identify and monitor ground targets. It helps to enhance pilot's situational awareness and allows air crew to identify areas of interest, perform reconnaissance and precise target and deliver laser and GPS guided weapons. The EOTS provides capabilities in line with contemporary dedicated targeting pods and IRST sensors, but in conformal and still the housing. In summary, it is capability of both a targeting pod and IRST sensor but since it sits inside the nose of the fighter jet which increases the stealth and aerodynamic characteristic of the fighter. However, you will find IRST and EOTS quite similar in functionality and confusing too. An IRST sensor makes use of imaging infrared sensor to track targets in double or even triple digits. Typhoon's Pirate for example can track 500 targets. An imaging IR sensor is similar to your camera's charge coupled device CCD sensor. The only difference is that their performance is far better in every condition. Talking about EOTS, it is a combination of IRST and FLIR or targeting pod. DRDO has started working on the development of a low drag still the EOTS but it is planned for MK MK2 which will enter production by 2035. Here I feel DRDO must join hands with Tonbo Imaging in developing EOTS because they are world class company when we talk about electro optical sensors. IIT Bombay has also developed quantum dot infrared photo detectors QDIP technology which is used in EOTS devices. It is more advanced than QWIP or quantum well infrared photo detectors based EOTS device used in Sukhoi SU-57 and F-35. The QWIP are the basis of all optical sensors used on western fighter aircrafts. The third generation imaging system has high operating temperature, multi-spectral operation and large format arrays. Talking about QWIPs, they are positioned to become an important technology in the field of infrared detection, particularly for high temperature, low cost, high yield detector arrays required for military application. High operating temperature photo detectors reduce the cost of infrared imaging system. IIT Bombay was the first to demonstrate the state of art characteristic of quaternary capped QDIPs which surpassed all previous world records in terms of a combination of very high responsibility and detectability. If DRDO joins hand with IIT Bombay and Tonbo Imaging, they can really build a world class unmatchable EOTS system. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.